Hey y'all, welcome to Bee's Intuition. I'm Bee, and I'm here to do a general collective energy message. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth. So if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. Spirit, I ask that you allow me to channel the message that you have for myself and the collective. If there is any negative energy around me, I ask that you remove it. If there is any black magic or spells coming my way or the collective's way, I ask that you block them. We thank you and we love you. All right, y'all. Hope y'all having a blessed, blessed, blessed day. Let's hop in. Spirit, allow me to channel the message. Too many, too many. What's the message, Spirit? Thank you. So we have Lioness. You've earned all your stripes. So yeah. I do feel like that, you know, you definitely have went through a lot of obstacles and challenges, you know, in your life. I do feel like, you know, that you've done everything that you could, you know, to possibly keep something together to possibly you know um help someone you know from drowning you know in toxicity and i feel like that i feel like that um you know this person cho chose to turn their back on you and so i feel like that you decided to remain strong and you decided to keep keep pushing and I feel like that you've earned all your stripes you know so you could be a Leo or you just you know are exemplifying you know inner strength but I do feel like that you feel like the fairy tales are just for books you know they're just stories and so with that being said you're okay with that so I feel like that there is someone who possibly could have sold you a fairy tale dream and you basically are realizing that it was only a dream and I do feel like that that is the person that you could have tried to help you know spiritually awakened or whatever but they decided that they didn't want to and so i do feel like that you are you know protected i do feel like your strength is protected i feel like that you basically have done everything that you needed to do you know on this path thus far mm -hmm. yeah and i do feel like that you are protected because again you've done the work you know god's will god's way you've earned your, all your stripes and i do feel like that you know there is getting ready to be some type of change with the stars here. I feel like that you're getting ready to get a lot of information, a lot of downloads, or um, there is a lot of information physically that's getting ready to come to you. But I feel like that, that, that you know, you definitely can manifest your every wish. I feel like that you definitely have healed. But I feel like that the universe, you know, is getting ready to bring some type of big change. A big change is coming your way. Mm-hmm. Because I do feel like that there was someone that, you know, whoever this person is that you possibly try to help that turned their back on you and you kept it moving. I do feel like that they possibly did try to change the trajectory of your life as far as, you know, trying to stop you from manifesting your every wish. You know, trying to basically they were refusing to change. They're refusing to heal. And I feel like that they're mad because you healed. And so with that being said, it is a past person. Um, and I do feel like that. They were trying to drag on a situation between you and them. And I do feel like that you had to slay this person. I, s I know that says dragons, but drag on, you know. But I feel like that you basically had to cut this person off. This dragon's card is the number six card. So it definitely is, you know, a person from your past. Mm -hmm. And so whoever this is, I do feel like, you know, that... They possibly have taken a step back, you know, to rethink, you know, themselves and their actions. And I do feel like that, you know, they do see you, you know, as a garden. They do want something lovely to grow, you know, between you and them. 
And so I feel like whoever this is, they possibly do want to, you know, come speak some type of truth. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever this is, I, they, yeah. They went towards a third party. And I do feel like that they created some type of castle with this third party. You know, they created some type of foundation. They created some type of family. You know, whatever they created with this third party, they created it. But look at it. It's all ashes. It's burnt to the ground. And so whoever this is, I do feel like that. Because the card says it's time for healing, not war. So whoever this is, I do feel like now they want to speak some truth. Because they feel like that something lovely will grow between you and them. You know, and they possibly, you know, do want to build some type of solid foundation, you know, with this castle card here. Um, whoever this is, you know, they don't want war with you. You know, they don't want to argue. They don't want to fight. They want to heal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is someone that you ended it with. This is someone, you know, that you basically, you know, let go. Because nothing was growing between you and them. But I'm also getting to that. If that's not the case, you, you did end it with this person. They are a past person. But because, you know, they're basically their foundation or whatever, you know, they built over there. You know, it's not standing anymore. It's it's all ash. Whatever they created, this castle that they created, it's all it's all ash. And it was with the third party. And, you know, whoever this is, you know, they realized that nothing grew. Actually, it burned to the ground. And so they don't want to argue with you. You know, they don't want war with you. They want to heal with you because they are. They're ending something, you know, with this third party or whatever situation it is that they ignored you for. That's what they're ending. And look at the fire in the tree. Yeah, they're letting it burn because nothing grew from it. They're letting go of, you know, that third party. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. They're ending, you know, this third party thinking that, you know, they have a throne in this castle. Her and her little minions. Because that's your thrones. Regardless if you're just one person, you know, it belongs to you. And so whoever this third party is, um, they're about to get dethroned. And it's one that, feel, that, that, that feels like that they, you know, that they want some, some action, Jackson. And that's probably the one that this masculine is ending it with. But the fact of the matter is, the masculine is ending it with this third party because this masculine knows whose throne it belongs to. It's you. And this masculine knows that your potential is endless. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But there was a storm, you know, that uh, possibly this third party tried to cause, you know. But you're definitely protected. 44 card. And, you know, every hurricane comes to an end. And so whoever this third party is was possibly a storm for this masculine energy. Or they just possibly created a lot of obstacles and challenges for this masculine energy. So yeah, this masculine, they definitely want a new beginning with you. Um, but for some of you, they were seeing red for, you know, a moment. And I feel like that whoever this masculine energy is possibly did deem you as an enemy at one point in time. And it's because you basically walked away from them. And you weren't giving to them at all. No energy, no emotions, no feelings, no nothing. But now they want forgiveness. Because for some of you, they possibly did, you know, use some, some language that, you know, that was very disrespectful to you. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they're realizing that. They're realizing that whatever they try to do to you, you know, because they were mad. You know, they're realizing your inner strength. And they're realizing that, ooh. Um, they're realizing that you'll like your own match. You know what I mean? And they're realizing that you're going to stand up for yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're realizing, you know, that whatever they said negatively about you or your body. Um, first of all, you're protected. And second of all, they're looking at themselves in the mirror. So for some of you, this is your twin flame. You know, and they're basically, they basically know that you treat uh, your body like the palace it is. Because for some of you, they possibly said that you were out there, you know, doing whatever, whatever, whatever. You know. But it wasn't true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They went towards this third party just for cover, just for luck, just for finances. And so whoever this is, you know, they're realizing that they need to release their guilt. Mm -hmm. And the fact of the matter is the same person. Now they're realizing that it's time to spiritually awaken and get on their spiritual journey. You've already you already have all the answers. Yeah. 
you whoever this is, they already have all the answers. But I feel like that you, you know, basically are on your spiritual journey. And I do feel like that you already have all the answers that you need to keep moving forward. Yeah. The fact of the matter is you can create a balance on your own. You know, you don't need those wings to fly. Air sign. And when it says you don't need those wings to fly, I feel like it's it's people. You know, you don't need those toxic people, you know, to, to, to fly. You got your own wings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so whoever this past person is, I do feel like that they possibly did say that you were doing black magic and spells or something just because you were focused on yourself. Mm-hmm. But I'm also getting to that the third party was trying to do black magic and spells. Look, basic witch. Yeah, you basic. Was trying to do black magic and spells on you to possibly be like you. You know, remember to practice self-love. Because you are natural self-love. Whoever this uh, feminine energy is, they don't they don't know what self-love is. And so I do feel like that they possibly try to bind themselves to a spell to be like you. And But they also could have tried to bind you to a spell. You know what I mean? But the fact of the matter is, you know, when it comes to this third party, if they were trying to, you know, bind you to a spell or whatever, nah, they only cause themselves a tower moment. Mm-hmm. And and you were unplugging and you know, you, you relaxed for the spell because guess what? Look at all your protection around you. <laughs> it wasn't gonna work. And I feel like you're in unbothered energy. And I feel like that you're protected because you're getting ready to feast even more. And and spirit is getting ready to bring some abundance so big to you that you're definitely gonna be able to to to, to slow down and celebrate yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because because of this third party, this evil queen, or because of, you know, how these people try to portray you to others, you deserve sugar, not salt. So let's get into it. Why is Lioness here? Knight of Wands. Hey, let me put it back because I don't know if it was reverse or upright, y'all. It came out weirdly. Lioness. All right. Five of Swords. So. This uh, lioness card is a thirteen four with a, thir <laughs> a thirteen card, which breaks down to a four, and so you definitely are uh, protected. You know, um, I do feel like that you are very strong, like I said, and you've done the work thus far that spirit needs for you to do. You know what I'm saying? And so, whoever this masculine energy, they're all up in all up in their head, and then you got this person back here that's distracting this masculine from you know thinking clearly. But whoever this is, I feel like it's a third party. That are just trying to be distractions to everybody. And I feel like whoever this masculine energy is. Uh, and if that's not. For some of you this is the distraction. The third party. The bird. Um, this is possibly you. They're all up in their head because you're over here. You know alone doing your thing. You know like hey I'm over here. But they have this bird in their ear. And so I feel like that yeah. You definitely are protected from whoever this is. But I do feel like that you've earned all your stripes. So you don't have to stand over there like hey I'm over here because guess what if they wanted to see you they would have already saw you and I'm saying that in a good good way whoever this is they don't have the eyes to see great things and I do feel like that whoever this is they were willing to sacrifice you you know because of whoever this third party is and so with that being said you're spiritually protected from this person this person is drowning in their emotions because, you know, they basically, you know, are a manipulator. You know, they 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 like to stab people on their back to betray people. And so, yeah, whoever this is, because you're still standing, you know, because they know that you've went through a lot and you've earned every stripe that you've that you've earned. You know what I'm saying? They're all up in their heads. For one, they're trying to figure out how did you get out of all this this stuff that they put you in, because for some of you. 
this masculine was purposely creating obstacles and challenges or the third party was. And so they're all up in their heads. They're trying to figure out, you know, but they're all up in their heads, too, because of the five of swords. So whoever this masculine energy is, they did come against you a lot. But you're the lioness, you know. And so, yeah, you definitely did change. And this masculine is, you know, all up in their head trying to figure out, you know, how did you change and things of that nature. The fact of the matter is, you know, this masculine, they did. They created a lot of obstacles and challenges. They try to put you in a lot of chaos, having a pandemonium. But I feel like you you definitely were protected this whole time. The universe was was always on your side. And I feel like that you are filled with a lot of wisdom and knowledge. But I do feel like that you definitely get a lot of wisdom and knowledge on a daily. You know, you get spiritual downloads on a daily. And I do feel like that, you know, there is a big change coming. And I feel like that you can manifest your every wish. But I feel like that there is a wish that is getting ready to come that is going to blow your mind. Stars. I'm also getting too that whoever this masculine energy is, they're all up in their heads because they found out some type of information about you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, death and rebirth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so whoever this masculine energy is, if it's not a masculine, whoever this person is, you know, they did with this stars card being number five card. They did. They try to create a lot of obstacles and challenges. They try to put you in competition, you know, conflict and things of that nature. Um, and I do feel like that for some of you, somebody was trying to end you. If it's a masculine energy, you know, it's a bird, too. You know, the masculine is all up in their heads because everything that they try to do to you, they thought it was going to end you. But no, <laughs> yeah, it it did. It ended your old ways and it began a new you. Mm hmm Yeah. And so, yeah. And because you're manifesting your every wish, yeah, you, you definitely went through a transformation. For some of you, this masculine possibly could be going through a transformation now. And it's because you definitely cut this this masculine off because they were trying to drag on you know the situation between you and them judgment mm -hmm. dragons mm -hmm. king of pentacles yeah so, yeah, you definitely, you know, slayed this King of Pentacles, you know, this past person. And I feel like it was because they were trying to get in your way, you know, of basically manifesting, basically, you know, being on your spiritual journey. And they were trying to drag on a situation knowing that they're married, King of Pentacles. So now they're all up in their heads because they see that you're doing good and you're not looking back. And I do feel like that whoever this bird is, they are trying to distract this masculine from ending, you know, a marriage. Because whoever this masculine is, you know, they did go towards this past person, but they are, you know, they did, they are taking a step back and they're realizing that they do want something lovely to grow between you and them. But the fact of the matter is, you're only concerned about the truth when it comes to this masculine. And two, you know, this masculine has done so much, you know, that they possibly can't come back from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're guarded when it comes to this masculine. And I feel like you're protected, you know, from anything that, you know, is being projected your way. And I feel like that, you know, you have some type of gut feeling, you know, that that basically is going to, you know, send you some type of red flag that this masculine possibly, you know, is trying to basically manipulate a situation ship. Five of Swords. Eight of Wands. So yeah, this masculine, they're all up in their heads, you know, because they see that you're protected. They see that you've earned all your stripes. They see that you're doing good in your life. They, they, they know now that you don't believe in fairy tales. And so they do want to communicate with you. And it's because they have seen you change and because they see that you can manifest, you know, whatever you want. But they also want to communicate with you because they know that you have a lot of information. And whatever information you know about, that's why you ended it with this person to, you know, start anew. So they do want to reach out and communicate with you about some type of ending because they do want to have a new beginning with you. 
But Five of Cups is here. Yeah, they feel like you're not feeling them anymore. They feel like you're not feeling in them anymore. And at the end of the day, you know, they're still attached to a wolf in sheep clothing and they're still focused on money and possibly married. And so, yeah, I do feel like that, you know, they possibly are trying to end it, you know, with the third party to have a new beginning with you. But I do feel like they still have some type of attachment to this third party. So even if they say that they're ending it, yeah, thank you, Spirit. Eight of Swords. Even if they say they're ending it, doesn't mean, you know, that it's done and over with. Because the King of Pentacles is out here. And so that is, you know, the husband card in the tarot deck. And so, yeah, they possibly are trying to end it, you know. But at the same time, they're still attached. They're still stuck in this marriage. But they do want something to grow, you know, between you and them. But you're only focused about the, with the truth. And so if they can't bring the truth, you know, to you, you don't want to deal with them. You are guarded because at the end of the day, whoever this is, they're not a wise energy or that's how you feel about them. They're just a player, you know, um, and they're also attached. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles. So they're out there being a player and then also, you know, have a family, a whole nother family. So that's why you have your guard up. Mm hmm. Yeah, six of wands, yeah. And you have your guard up because you're focused on, you know, your success and victory. You're focused on your platform if you have it. You're just focused on you, you know. You're focused on winning. And so whoever this King of Pentacles is, you know, they're stuck. They're stuck and they're watching you grow. And you are guarded because you're protecting your success and victory. Um, there is this third party, though, that is trying to get someone stuck. You know, by releasing some type of information, possibly about a theft or just, you know, deceitfulness, irrational behavior, not of sorts. So whoever this third party is could possibly, yeah, it's the third party that's that this masculine is in this Ten of Pentacles with. So this third party definitely could be trying to expose this masculine. Eight of Wands. Strength. Five of Cups. Queen of Wands. Yeah. And I do feel like that whoever this masculine energy is, they possibly, you know, are going to try to project, you know, this Five of Swords energy on you. But you're too strong. You know. So, Lion is Leo. You definitely, you know, could be a Leo or have Leo heavily in your chart. But whoever this is, you know, they can't project that, that negative energy on you. You're not going. And Spirit isn't going to allow that to happen. Again, we started out with a 13 card, which breaks down to a 4. Spiritual protection all day, every day. Spirit guides angels and ancestors. But then on top of that, you have your own spiritual strength your own power and so whoever this is they they thought that they were going to project this in, they think that they're going to project this negative energy on you and you know they're thinking wrong they're getting ready to cause themselves a lot of obstacles and challenges because you've already healed and again you already have you know a whole lot of information about whoever this is and you've already ended it with them and i and and whoever this is you know you possibly ended it with them because or just basically Ejected them out of your life for good because they could have said that you were out here being a thought, you know, out here giving your good hot pocket away and things of that nature. But you, you're not. You're just being strong, you know, and you're just walking in your power. You know your worth. And so, yeah, I do feel like whoever this past person is, they feel like that you did slay them, you know, because they were trying to drag on, you know, the situation. They were trying to drag you, you know, verbally, you know, trying to basically shame you and things of that nature. And so... This King of Pentacles, yeah, they looking stupid because they're still over there with that bird, with that wolf of sheep clothing, and they're stuck. Yeah, but they want you to be at a crossroads. They don't want you to create a balance. But you already have, so I don't know what they're talking about. Eight of Swords. Yeah, they're stuck with that bird, with that third party, with many third parties. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they're stuck, though. They're not going anywhere. So they have a wolf in sheep clothing that they're married to. And then third parties. I don't know how many third parties. Could be one, two, three. Take it how it resonates. But they're stuck in drama. Yeah. 
They're stuck in drama. But there has been a tower moment. And now this masculine is realizing that they can do better with you. They they realizing that, you know, um, things can grow with you. But you're guarded because you're focused on you. You're focused on, you know, building up your foundation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, three of swords. And this masculine is heartbroken. They're stuck. They can't. They know they can't come towards you. They can't have success and victory with you because you're too strong and you're standing in your power. And I do feel like that, you know, they are realizing that they are stuck. You know, they've gotten themselves stuck in a lot of situations. And they've basically broken their own heart because for some of you, they're stuck because they were doing black magic and spells or black magic and spells was being done on them or, you know, they were just playing games. Mm -hmm. Now they're trying to walk away. They're trying to come to the light mm -hmm. because they're in the Five of Pentacles energy. Strength. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so whoever this is, they definitely, you know, do feel like that you have started a new beginning in love. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I do feel like that they do regret the fact that they got stuck, you know, in the situations that they're stuck in because they see you, you know, in the strength and Queen of Wands energy. And they broke their own hearts because they know that you're getting ready to have a new beginning in love because you're tired of this person. You're not going through anything else with this person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know your worth and you want a, a mature man. You want a mature woman. You want someone, you know, that is on your level. And so with that being said, whoever this third party is, you know, they definitely were trying to cause some heartbreak as well. Um, but I do feel like that this masculine was trying to cause heartbreak, you know, page of cups in reverse. They're un unapologetic, but I do feel like queen of wands and then page of cups in reverse. You've lost all interest, you know, in this masculine, because again, you know, your worth and you don't want to be immature. You know, you, you, you're grown and you want to, you know, a uh, new love with a grown up. But I do feel like that whoever this masculine energy is. Yeah. The moon. Hidden things. And I feel like that, you know, if you, you know, have started in the beginning in love, you're unapologetic about it because you know that this masculine has hidden things still. That's why I kept saying the only thing that you're concerned about is the truth. Yep. And so this masculine definitely is heartbroken. But I'm also getting too that this third party is heartbroken. Because this masculine, you know, is getting ready to have a new beginning somewhere. And it's and 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 they're unapologetic. This third party, you know, is all up in their, their heads. Possibly this masculine as well. Because for some of you the third party found out, I mean, excuse me, the who the the person the bird, the wolf in sheep's clothing has found out that this masculine also has another third party or other third parties that they're dealing with. And then the masculine, they're heartbroken because they feel like that you're getting ready to have a new beginning in love unapologetically. So both the the the, the um the bird and uh the masculine are all up in their heads. Three of swords. Mm hmm King of Wands. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm also getting too that this masculine energy, you know, they were stuck, you know, in a situation, you know, and this third party is all up in their heads now because whoever this masculine is, they possibly, you know, like I said, this 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 bird, they they found out some information, you know, about this masculine having another third party or two or three, you know, trying to have success and victory with this third party. I mean, with the other third parties, and so the bird possibly, you know, has a guard up to this masculine energy as well because they're heartbroken because the masculine energy, you know, took action you know towards somebody else and try to hide it mm -hmm. so yeah now that this masculine you know feels like that you are having a new beginning in love six of swords they want to come back your way But the fact of the matter is you don't want an apology from this masculine yeah three of wands you're not waiting for this masculine anymore 
that's what's all up in their head too. That's what's gotten them all up in their heads because they know this for a fact. Because nothing, they're realizing that, you know, they didn't try in the past. Seven of Pentacles. Nothing grew. You know, they didn't try. So, yeah, now, whoever this is, they want to take action to come speak some type of truth. Yeah, and the truth of the matter is they want to, they do want to come back your way to try to reconcile with you. Um, because they want to speak some type of truth about some information, you know, that they possibly have found out. Mm-hmm. Two of Cups. And for some of you, it's just the fact that they want to speak some truth about, you know, this new third party that they done partnered up with. But I feel like you already know that they have that bird and then, uh, you know, uh, another third party. Yeah, the sun. It's already been revealed to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I feel like, yeah, the masculine, they do. They want to um, speak some type of truth. But I feel like that, you know, you're you're you don't want uh, you at the end of the day. That's what you want is the truth, but this masculine is scared because you're focused on yourself. You know what I mean? But I'm also getting too that, you know, because of your success and victory, um, somebody was trying to cause heartbreak. This masculine by by saying that you were doing some illegal things with this king of wands. I mean, king of um, swords, but it was found out that you basically focused on you. Yeah. But whoever this masculine is, they just want to reconcile because they've received some information that you were partnered up, you know, with someone else. You know, that you were happy, you know, in your new beginning in love. The fact of the matter is, majority of you, y'all don't, y'all in the Queen of Cups energy, y'all just focus on yourself. And so, yeah, because of this information, yeah, this masculine does want to take the leap of faith to come towards you, you know, for a, for a new beginning. But the star is in reverse. This masculine is not, not healed. But this is someone that you do have emotional attachment with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they also have emotional attachments to other to others. King of Cups, Seven of Cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Empress. And for some of you, this masculine could have gotten, you know, somebody pregnant. But they do see you in the Empress energy, you know, and they they haven't changed. And but they see that you the will of uh, fortune is turning in your favor. And the fact of the matter is, they're emotional. Ace of Wands in reverse because they know that they can't have a new beginning with you at all because they refuse to change. They're resisting change. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, whoever this masculine energy is, you know, they want to. They are taking action to get some type of truth. Or again to get get you involved in some type of you know court situation with this King of Swords here, um, because they're trying to figure out with the Seven of Cups how you get this money, Ace of Pentacles. They they want they're trying to figure out if you're pregnant. You know they're trying to figure out what's going on, because everything is going so good for you and and you don't want a new beginning with them. You know, but they do have this offer for you. But yeah, no, you don't want it. You don't want it. You rather, you know, you can do bad all by yourself. You're not going to be attached to somebody just for money. Or you're not going to allow somebody to be attached to you just for money. And whoever this masculine energy is, they're watching you to see, you know, if if you're getting handouts or something like that. <laughs> what? But yeah, this masculine definitely is emotional because they feel like that you don't want a new beginning with them. They feel like that you already have a new beginning in love somewhere else. Um, and I feel like that, yeah, you definitely have poured out your emotions and feelings for this masculine, you know, to focus on you and you're unapologetic about it. You're not waiting for this masculine anymore. You know, you're not waiting to, to be in a partnership with this masculine anymore. Um, because you know that this masculine hasn't healed, you know, and things are going good in your life. You've already cut this masculine out because for some of you, they're married. For others of you, they're just committed to uh, other people. Um, and they are. They're stuck with this third party. 
they're all up in their head because they see that you're growing and things have been revealed to you about this masculine. You have your guard up, you know, you're protecting yourself, you're protecting your success and victory and this masculine is heartbroken. And so they're taking, trying to take action to find out some truth about you. The truth is that you're in the Queen of Cups energy. And yeah, you are. You are hustling. You know what I'm saying? You out here grinding. You're looking for ways to get money, to build your finances. What's wrong with that? But I feel like whoever this masculine energy is, they possibly are trying to say that you're doing some things that you're not supposed to be doing. I've been getting that energy a lot. So let's get the rest of the message. So for some of you, you know, whoever this is, you know, they basically wanted to marry you or they possibly, you know, asked you to, you know, for you two to get married only to cut corners to marry someone else. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now they're trying to run back to you. Yeah, because they see that you, you know, have a new beginning, you have a fresh start, and so they want a fresh start. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But there is a divine blockage, you know. Divine is blocking this person out. And yeah. Five five five, big change coming, like I said. Breaking news. So yeah, something is taking place now. Possibly a big change. Let's see. Let's get married. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stuck on something you said. So whoever this is, and, and for some of you, yeah, okay. Some of you, um, they, they were married, possibly when you met them. They got a divorce and married someone else behind your back. But whoever this is, they are stuck on something you said. But they definitely did marry someone else for some of you. Mm -hmm. But who they married was a girl, not a woman. And so, yeah, they are realizing that. And now they want to run back to you because you're a woman, not a girl. Mm -hmm. They are running back to you, but you live a drama-free life. But I feel like that for the majority of you, you know, they they basically you were planning to marry this person, but then they basically, you know, turned around and married someone else. They're running back to you because of something that you said, you know, and you could have possibly told them, yeah, you married a girl, not a woman. You're y'all both childish or whatever. And the fact that the matter is, whoever this is, they know that you live a drama free life. And that possibly is one of amongst many reasons why they're running back to you, because they their life has been. Um, full of drama. New beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they want to run back to you because they see that you have a new beginning. They see that, you know, you definitely have a fresh start and everything is backfiring and the tables are turning on them. The, the fact of the matter is, there is a divine blockage. So, you know, spirit is divinely blocking this person out. Mm -hmm. And it's because this person is obsessed, but, I'm, but I also feel like that, um, you know, they created a divine blockage because they're obsessed with toxic things. But there is a divine blockage. They created a divine blockage um, because I feel like that there is a big change that's getting ready to come your way. 
And I feel like that whoever this masculine energy is, they're really going to feel the backfire. They're really going to be uh, feeling the tables turn on them. But I'm also getting to that there is going to be a big change when coming as far as your work situation. Um, you are going to get a new beginning, a fresh start when it comes to a work situation. Everything is going to backfire and the tables are going to turn. And I feel like that there is someone that at work that is possibly obsessed, you know, with doing toxic things against you or to you. And I feel like, yeah, there is a big change when, when it comes to a work situation. Breaking news. Um, someone definitely has control issues and they're not willing to give in. So whether it be a work situation or, you know, this love situation. But someone definitely is going through uh, karma and they're under judgment. Mm-hmm. Yep. And it could be work situ the work situation and, you know, this masculine. Um, but there are hidden legal issues that this masculine has going on um, behind the scenes. And I feel like that it is trying to get a divorce from this girl, not a woman. They definitely are running back to you. Um, or trying to anyway. You live a drama-free life, but they did. They pushed you to the side. And so with that being said, you started a new beginning. You started a fresh start. And everything backfired and the tables turned on this masculine. Now this masculine is being blackmailed to be stuck. Mm -hmm. And this masculine definitely, you know, created a, a divine blockage because they were obsessed, you know, with toxic things. But this masculine definitely is running out of gas. And whoever it is that they are blackmailing, that's blackmailing this masculine, they're running out of gas as well. I do feel like that there is a big a big change um, coming when it comes to a work situation. Because somebody definitely tried to frame you. They tried to set you up. Somebody possibly wants you to go to jail. And I feel like that um, uh, this third party, you know, possibly was trying to frame you or trying to frame this masculine. You know, to get them to go to jail. But the fact of the matter is, it's going on now. And whoever this is, they definitely have control issues. And they're not willing to give in. And so for some of you, yeah. You definitely could be getting a new uh, job opportunity. Out of this work situation ship. Debacle. Mm-hmm. This masculine, they're going through karma. They're under judgment because they want to live a street life, a ghetto life, a criminal life. And you, you know, have a new beginning. You have a fresh start and they're seeing that. And so everything is backfiring. The tables are turning, you know, on this masculine. And and not only that, but they're being blackmailed to be stuck to, some, to the person that they married. The girl, not the woman. That they're dealing with the hidden legal issues with. This masculine definitely needs some support. They need some help. But yeah, they created a divine blockage by being obsessed, you know, to things that didn't serve their highest good. But this masculine, they definitely need some assistance because they are running out of gas when it comes to trying to run back to you. The fact of the matter is you live a drama free life and you push uh, this masculine to the side. Well, this masculine is hungry, stinking and starving. But I feel like this masculine feels like that um, you push them to the side, be, you know, and left them, you know, out in the cold. Um, but there is a big change coming. Definitely could be a work situation. Um, or a love situation. But it says work situation out here. But somebody did try to frame you at work. Yep. Yep. But blessings, yeah, they're getting ready to come your way. Yeah. And I feel like because, um, you know, whoever this is at work or this masculine energy, they have control issues. They're not willing to give in. Yeah, you're getting ready to have a new job opportunity or, you know, a new love. Yep, because your attitude determines your altitude. 
And so I feel like that when it comes to this new job opportunity, somebody's attitude is going to overload their behind and they're going to get themselves in some trouble. Yeah, with this fire sign and this, yeah, in hot water, get themselves in some trouble. But I feel like that, you know, um, this masculine, they, they, they took some action, you know, to do whatever they did. And they're running out of gas because they gotten themselves into trouble at work. The work situation, yeah, blessings are getting ready to come your way. And I feel like that, you know, whoever this is with your work situation, they want to tell you some type of truth. And it is about your finances at work, financial stability. So with that being said, that has been the message. I hope it resonated. If it did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon.